Hey Jessica, hey Eddie, Carlos here with Zero to 100 Marketing, making that video that I discussed on the phone with Jessica. Um, you guys are probably wondering why I'm even making this video to begin with, and the answer to that is simple. I've noticed that business owners are usually far too busy running the operations and just the day-to-day -day of their business to learn how to make the internet get them business and get them clients, right? Um, so I've started making these five-minute videos just showing people how they can up their online presence on their own. And a lot of the times people will take this information and they'll implement it for themselves. They won't hire me. And honestly, I don't have a problem with that. At least I help somebody wrap out, right? Um, other times people say, hey, Carlos, I like you. Uh, you seem knowledgeable. Um, help me out with this. And I'm always definitely very happy to help people out with their online presence. Uh, so let's get to it, right? Uh, first of all, it's a beautiful site. I really like the color scheme and everything is very easily clickable. It's contact here. It's no if, ands, or buts about it. I know exactly what everything is and it looks really nice. Um, so what's a good looking site though if it's not on the first page of Google, right? Because that's where you want to be. We have a joke in the industry, where's the best place to hide a dead body? And that's on the second page of Google, right? Um, what Google really cares about when they're trying to decide where a website's going to lie on the results is all that highlighted stuff, just the text. We call that content. The average website on the first page of Google has between 1,500 and 2,000 words. Uh, for whatever reason, Google really likes that number and that's a sweet spot for them. You guys have 367 words on that homepage, uh, which is a really good start, but you definitely do want to bump up that word count to uh, between 1,500 and 2,000 words. Um, not only because that's the number that Google likes to see, but because it gives us room to do what I think is the most important thing, which is insert buyer intent keywords into that content, right? So what are buyer, buyer intent keywords? A keyword is just what you type into Google. So for example, tree service Marietta, Georgia, that's a keyword. Um, different keywords have different monthly search volumes and it can be as frivolous as adding an S or removing a Georgia to get a drastically different number of people searching every month. So for example, this keyword could have a monthly search volume of 100, but if you take out the Georgia or maybe switch service to removal, it could have 500 monthly searches. Uh, there's tools we have for that like SEMrush and the one I use is this Moz and we'll get into that later. Um, so yeah, you wanna figure out which keywords are the most, uh, most searched with the lowest difficulty to rank for and you wanna rank for those. So that's basically content and keywords in a nutshell. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is backlinks. So what a backlink is, is when uh, one website links to your site on theirs, right? So for example, if I have a blog about um, dangerous trees falling down and I post a link to your site on there saying these are a good tree removal company. So Google's gonna like that and they're gonna see, it's basically like a vote of confidence. Me saying that I think your website is good and authoritative and Google uh, notices that and gives you points for it, right? Um, one important thing to remember about backlinks is that not all backlinks are created equal. Um, for example, if Pizza Hut were to link to your site, Google's not going to care about that because they're just completely different industries. You guys don't have anything to do with pizza. They don't have anything to do with trees. So that's not authoritative and Google won't really care about that. Um, if we look right here, you guys have 29 backlinks from six linking domains. So that's 29 links on different websites. From, to from six different websites, right? And that's not bad, that's a pretty good start. If we Google tree service Marietta, right? Like I have here, we get all these ads and this is Google guaranteed if you wanna get up there, you just have to pay for it, but I don't, I don't know. A lot of people don't really look at that and they skip right past these ads too. What most of people look at is what's right here and what's right here. Uh, so if we go first on the organic search, we have these guys. Todd, uh, Todd's Tree Services, right? Nothing fancy, honestly, your site looks a lot better. So why are they on the first page, right at the number one spot, where you wanna be? Uh, let's look at their word count. I don't think they quite hit the mark, but. Yeah, 966, so they're pretty close, but just by getting to that 1500 word count, you guys can beat them out in that aspect and get some good keywords in there. Then if we go and grab their URL, type that into Moz. We're looking at 4.4 thousand links from 388 linking domains. And I know what you're thinking, 4,400 links, 
that's so many. How are we, how are we ever going to compete with that? Um, while that is still important, is not as it's not as important as this right here, 388 linking domains, which is a lot more attackable. Um, the way I would go about beating them out in that category is I would just go over here to all of their linking domains and just check out which sites exactly are giving them links. Because if these sites are good enough to rank them, then they're definitely good enough to rank you too. So I would just go one by one and try to get a backlink from as many of these pages as I possibly can. And then you want to have some original ones too, right? So what I would do is probably just go to the top three competitors on the search results and just copycat all of theirs and then get as many original ones as you can too. Um, that's definitely going to help you knock them out of the water because we don't want to have like the same amount. Like if they have 400, we don't want to have 401 and them all, like, all of them are the same. If they have 400, we want to have like 600 just to get that number one spot and keep it, right? Um, so that's backlinks in a nutshell. And then the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is citations. So what a citation is, is a company's name, address, and phone number. Uh, listed on a directory throughout the web. And what a directory is, is places like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie's List, um, all those types of places where you just input your name, address, and phone number of your company, uh, and Google sees that, and they're going to they're gonna rank you for the map pack. So that's what's important to get on here on this, on this map section. So Todd's is, is obviously they have a SEO person working on their site because they're number one here. And they're number two here, so they're they're really killing it. Um, a lot of people interact mostly with this map pack. I know I'm one of those people. I, I mostly focus on just the stuff that's here, and if I can't find what I'm looking for here, then I'll go down here. Um, so yeah, that's what you want to do. Is basically to summarize it, you want to get the content up on your site between 1,500 and 2,000 words. You want to insert buyer intent keywords into your um, content. Oh, and I don't think I ever uh, told you what buyer intent keyword is. So a keyword is what you type into Google. A buyer intent keyword is just what it sounds like. Uh, it's what somebody types into Google when they're ready to make a purchase, right? And so those are obviously the kind of keywords we want to go after. Once you do that, you want to get your backlinks up, go and figure out where your competition is getting their links from and basically just copy them and get some original backlinks as well. And you also want to get as many citations as possible so that you can get, be leading right here in this top three of the map pack. Doing those things, you guys are definitely going to drive way more business over to your site. And I think you'll be, happy, you'll be better off for it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, again, my name is Carlos. I'm with Zero to 100 Marketing. If uh, all I ask is just to give me some feedback on this video. Tell me what you thought. Uh, you can always contact me by phone at 562-999-7844. Or you can contact me by, contact me by email at carlos at 0-100marketing.com. Again, thank you so much for your time, and I hope to hear from you guys soon.